Hi, I'm Lee Constantino. I'm the author of Pop Apocalypse, a novel that's coming out in May 2009 from Echo Harper Perennial. And uh, I've been uh, kidnapped and brought to this room and asked to answer some questions from this bowl. So uh, uh, let me tell you a little bit about my novel first. It's uh, a political satire that is set in the near future where the end of the world is nigh and things aren't looking too good. And the hero is Elliot Vanderthorpe, a uh, celebrity heir, uh, ne'er-do-well, who basically has to save the world from total destruction. And so let's, let's, let's start. Um, first question, uh, we hear you're passionate about politics, pop culture, technology, and economics. Uh, where do you see this country going in 2009 in each of these areas? Um, I don't see the world going to uh, very good places in 2009. I think, indeed, the uh, end of the world is nigh. Uh, and my, my hope is to cash in on this fact by writing a book about the apocalypse. And so I think, you know, I hope to do well, whereas the world is, is not going to do so well, which is unfortunate because I, I like the world. I think it's, it's wonderful. Uh, let's, let's see. I'll, I'm going to take another question. Um, you're currently writing uh, your dissertation. I'm a grad student, by the way. I'm writing my dissertation on post-ironic fiction uh, in American literature. And so they want to know, what is post-irony, and is Pop Apocalypse a piece of post-ironic literature? Um, basically, post-irony is uh, an idea that became very popular in the mid to late 90s, and uh, you know, it became sort of circulated by authors like David Foster Wallace and Zadie Smith, and it's this sort of idea that irony has played out, we're all too ironic, we want to move towards some new, more sincere uh, future, and uh, I totally reject this premise. I think irony is wonderful, and Pop Apocalypse is a horribly, uh, perhaps, cynical, ironic view of, of the present. And, uh, you know, that's, that's, I, have a beef. I have a beef with post-irony, even though I'm writing about it.